Are you going to be on your best behavior and not meow while mommy's filming? I love you. Hey guys, it's Alana and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk a little bit more and continue the conversation from last week where I talked more about how I'm an influencer who is getting fed up by other influencers. And in that video, I talked a little bit about like overconsumption and TikTok shop. And so I kind of wanted to make like this part two about me being really annoyed with TikTok shop, but it's more of like an anti-haul video. And I think the last time I ever made an anti-haul video was when I used to do makeup content way back when in 2017. So I wanted to just kind of talk about like my reasonings for some of these stupid things that I see on TikTok shop and why I do not want to buy it. But I promise I do have a nice little message to wrap this up at the end. So let's get into my little TikTok shop anti-haul, shall we? So let's talk about the first thing. This has been overly promoted on my For You page and I had to block these ads all the time. Of course, Elsa decides to not behave. But it is the Mary Leah Scott Fake Freckles product. Yes, fake freckles. That's what we're talking about. So here's the thing. I don't like to shit on small businesses and indie brands because I love indie brand makeup. Um, I think a lot of her products are really cool actually. It's just the fake freckles. I just have no use for it. And here's the thing. I do think the product could be really beneficial for someone who maybe wants to enhance their freckles or maybe there's someone who really just wants freckles. I don't think it's like this useless product but for me it serves me no purpose and value in my life. And I was just so fed up with seeing ad after ad after ad and people being like, I bought the viral fake freckles product, blah, blah, blah. And you know how I feel about people using the word viral in front of everything. I just don't find that to be worth the money for myself. But again, if this is something that you truly want and freckles are really important to you, if you really want to accentuate your freckles because maybe it gets overshadowed by your makeup, I could see that being a really great product Product. and I do think she makes some really cool stuff but at the same time I'm just really sick and tired of seeing it and I got so turned off by this product that it was just an absolute hard no for me this one I talked about in last week's video but it is that stupid crisscross applesauce chair I think you can still sit crisscross applesauce in your desk chair as I am doing right now I showed it to you last week. I showed it to you again this week. This is not a new concept. It's a freaking desk chair. I just don't get why we overhyped something so basic that can easily be done with a desk chair. If it really bothers you that your desk chair has legs and see if there's a way that you can remove the legs off the chair without it diminishing the structure of the chair to where it can still hold you up. Because I can guarantee you that the chair that you currently have at your desk is perfectly fine. And I just think this is a stupid product that is way overhyped, way overpriced. I think there's a lot of cheap knockoffs in the TikTok shop. And I don't even know what the real original chair is supposed to be at this point. But I don't think you need to be spending your money on this. I think it's incredibly stupid. And it's really something that we don't need to hype up. Those are my final thoughts on that stupid fucking chair. The third thing, anything by Halara. Oh my god. It makes me not want Halara. I was almost tempted by Halara. I almost was. There was these one pair of leggings that looked really cool. They were definitely an alt girl's dream. But I feel like I could buy that somewhere else for better quality. I don't think Halara's pricing is that great in my opinion. It just looks like another fast fashion brand and I personally am not going to cave into it. I am so tired of seeing ads for that Halara skirt, for the Halara leggings, for Halara dresses. I am just overseeing Halara. So because I've seen it so much and the way that people have overhyped such a basic product that we could buy anywhere else really, like what makes this so special than others? People were acting like skorts, which is a skirt with shorts underneath it, is this new concept. No, that's been around for years. Like I wore skorts all the time when I was a little girl. It is not a new concept. It just drives me wild how this new generation, where they think they've discovered something new, when really, it's been around for a while. It's not a new concept once again. So I'm over Halara. I refuse to buy stuff from Halara. 
It's just gonna be a big fat no for me. The fourth one, color changing lip oils. Now just wait for a second because I do have one. Okay, well technically it's not a lip oil. It is this color changing lip blush oil by Euphoria that you can use on your lips. I have used it on my lips. Listen, I know there's a lot of controversy with this brand right now because of their launch with the foundations in the shade range being really terrible. And that made me really sad to hear because I genuinely do really like this product. And I did buy this product because of TikTok because I really wanted something that was gonna be lightweight. I did think that the concept was really cool. Unfortunately, I did fall for that whole, whole it changes to your whole pH thing, which I now know is a scam. But what really sold me was the fact that it had skincare ingredients in this. Um, I will say it looks a little gross right now. It does eventually oxidize to pink from clear. But anyways, I will say ever since I did use that product, my skin really did clear up. So I do think that there is some truth that it can help your skin. Maybe it's a placebo. But anyways, going back to my original point here, these lip changing oils that claim that they change to your pH is not accurate. Everyone has the same pH. It's really going to look different on people's lips based off your skin tone of your current lips. It's all about color theory. That's what it really is. Like there really isn't like a certain amount of pH in our lips and we need to stop believing this myth or this marketing ploy that it's your pH, it's not. So it's literally about color theory and why some shades of pink may look slightly different than others, but that's it. And honestly, I have so many lip oils already that I can use what I already have. I am just not buying into it. I already have my color changing euphoria item and I don't need any more, like that is it. Honestly, yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. I think it, it's just a scam in my opinion. I just wish they could stop with their marketing saying that it changes to their pH. I think that's the main thing that I have an issue with. I do think the concept is cool, but it's just the marketing that gives me the biggest ick. The next thing are the Judy Blue jeans. <sighs> I don't know if you've seen these on your For You page, but they're all over my For You page. The influencers who are promoting their TikTok shop commission links with these products are so fucking annoying about it. And it's like, are you just a Judy Blue like rep or like an employee or are you just a regular person who genuinely likes this and genuinely wants to share it? Because I'm not convinced. These like prices are just all over the place. I've seen some for like $65. $68, $34. I will say I do think $35 or $34 for a pair of jeans is a pretty good price. But what is the quality like? I mean, there are so many great jeans out there. I just feel like these jeans are not a new groundbreaking concept. There are so many great jeans out there that are still going to give you the same effect that you're looking for. I don't want to promote like any brands here because that will defeat the purpose of this video. But I'm just saying like I am so tired of seeing these jeans. I do think $68 for a pair of jeans is a little bit much. I would probably pay maybe around like $30 to $50 on the higher end for a pair of jeans. So I truly am just really tired of seeing this. It's not a new groundbreaking concept. There are other jeans that have done the sculpting stuff, that have the stretch, they're out there. Go to your local thrift shop and get those jeans there because I can guarantee you'll find a really great pair of jeans for a better price and probably for just as good quality. I can't really speak for the quality, but I am just not sold. I'm, I'm just, I'm just not. There is a brand, well I think it's the brand, it's called Vert V and I've seen this random jumpsuit all over my For You page as well and people are once again calling it the <laughs> and how girls are wearing this jumpsuit in front of their boyfriends and their boyfriends are like, damn! It's cringe. It's so fucking cringe. It's not groundbreaking. There's other designs out there that are pretty similar that I'm sure you could get at a good price. I mean, I will say the TikTok shop price isn't bad. It's like 29 to $33. It's a fucking jumpsuit. Take that for what you will. That's my opinion. I love the jumpsuits that I have and I think they're very flattering as is. So we don't need to be getting a basic ass product off TikTok shop. 
Once again, it's a jumpsuit. It's not groundbreaking. This one, I'm sure everyone is so tired of seeing, but those freaking bloom greens. You cannot convince me to buy this. You cannot convince me to consume this and use this as part of my daily health routine. I just refuse. I have taken spirulina pills. That's how I get migraines in because I have gastroparesis, so it is harder for me to eat raw vegetables. And here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with taking like a greens supplement. Um, I think they are probably necessary if you really struggle to get your veggies in. I'm not a health or nutrition expert or a registered dietitian, so I'm not gonna speak further on this, but these things look really disgusting. I've heard so many negative things about the Bloom Greens, and honestly, I just don't wanna put myself drinking something like that. I would rather take something as a supplement for a cheaper price. I think they are overpriced, they're overhyped. I just feel like greens are only gonna be necessary if you truly need that nutrition in your life. But are you actually enjoying it? Because I really wanna know. If you enjoy them and you incorporate them in, as part of your routine, that's fine. These are just my opinions once again, but I will not be convinced to buy this like ever, 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 ever. Now this is one I know people are really sick of. It is the shadow work journal. So hear me out. I love shadow work. I love journaling, but you do not need the shadow work journal when there are plenty of prompts to help you with shadow work for free. Also, I was able to find some of the little prompts from the shadow work journal on the TikTok shop, some of the preview pictures. So it tells you a little bit of some shadow work activity. So one is like a mirror gazing activity where basically I'm gonna, if I can zoom it in. Okay, so you basically, you'd find a mirror that you sit in front of, you take a seat, you spend five to 10 minutes there. There's some props where you can talk about reoccurring thoughts that you have. And here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with a guided journal. I have some guided journals that I like to use because it's easier for me to connect with myself and it's part of my own spiritual routine. But I think you can easily find these prompts online for free. You can take like a blank journal and write them out yourself. But I'm not convinced to buy the shadow work journal when I can literally get these prompts online for free or something like off Pinterest and write it down myself. I don't need a whole separate guided journal for that. The two guided journals that I use are my moon journal and then my manifestation journal where I'll also record my tarot readings down as well. So those are the only times where I will use a guided journal, but we don't need to keep consuming more guided journals because we're going to run out of room and space and it's going to be harder to keep up with it. And I think it's better to have a blank journal and to write the prompts out yourself. Number nine, how many have you seen the live streams of people doing like crystal scoops? And basically they'll have like this big machine sorter where they have all these crystals and they do a scoop and you can watch your order get scooped on the live stream. It sounds like a cool concept, but I can guarantee you those crystals are absolutely and 100% fake. I do not trust buying crystals off TikTok shop whatsoever. I think it is one of the biggest scams out there. And I've heard so many people like sharing their horror stories or their reviews of the times where they bought into those crystal videos where they saw the scoops and they wanted to purchase their own scoop for a really hefty price only for them to get fake crystals. Buy your crystals at your local rock store because I can guarantee you they're going to be authentic. I think some metaphysical shops you do need to be a little bit wary of because sometimes they will sell fake stones there as well. But go to an actual rock retailer store where they will sell you the real thing and you're gonna get really good quality stones. So that's what I recommend for crystals. Do not buy crystals off TikTok shop. Um, I will never buy one of those crystal scoops because I don't need fake crystals that will contribute nothing to my life. And I need all the crystal energy that I want and fake crystals are not gonna give that to me. And the last thing, I am so sick and tired of the High Smile ad. So High Smile is like that purple toothpaste that's based out of Australia. And the ads for that are so annoying. I remember I saw like one where somebody's in Sephora and then there's a girl and that person just goes right up to the girl and just takes a Q-tip and just swatches her tooth 
to like show the product and how much whiter her teeth is. Talk about invasive. I mean, I know it's just an ad. It was a paid actor, of course, but I've heard so many bad things about this product that it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. I do understand they were trying to use color theory, how purple can cancel out yellow, but just invest in a really good teeth whitening service or go to your dentist and get your teeth whitened there. Yes, that is going to be more money, but I think that's going to be a much better investment for something that's going to be more permanent for something that is really not going to do much. I can't be bothered to buy it. I think it looks really expensive and it's not very accessible. Like you have to buy it online. I live in the US. I don't have access to Sephora Australia. So I can't buy it there because I know they sell it in Sephora Australia stores. I don't think it's a very accessible product in my opinion. And I know a lot of brands are making dupes and fake products out there that are probably just as ineffective. I'm just simply not convinced. I'm not, I'm not. So I hope I didn't offend people too much with this video. Here's the thing. If you like these products and they work for you, that is wonderful. I'm allowed to share my opinions and why I don't want that. It is perfectly okay to admire things and want things from TikTok shop. I gave in once and I ordered some fake press on nails and a black lip stain from TikTok shop. And I'll be honest, I'm not really impressed with either of the products. It's perfectly okay to want to shop on TikTok shop. There are still things that I see on TikTok that I do want to buy. I know that there is this one black lip tint that I've never seen anywhere else. Like no other brand has made like a black lip tint. And there's this brand called Sushi Glow Cosmetics that I actually really am interested in trying out this lip tint because I am really loving lip tints. It is what I wear and the fact that I love to wear black lip products. I mean, I'm wearing like black lip products with some red in the middle of it. So I would love a black lip tint that lasts longer than a regular lip stain. I think they look really great. Um, and that is something that I'm willing to try, but I want to use up some of my other black lip products first before I purchase this. It is okay to want things that you see on the internet. It is okay, but I want you to be more mindful and to think about it. Is this a want or is this a need? You're at a foundation and you see a really cool foundation product that you want to try. That can be a great opportunity to try out that foundation as long as like you absolutely need to have foundation. But if you already have the same product again, there's no need to buy it. So that's why I want to hold off on like that black lip tint until I use up the rest of my black lip products. And then I can buy this because I know she's going to keep restocking them. I'm not worried unless she announced, Hey, this is the last day that I'm selling and it's not returning. Then sure. I'll buy it and then wait until later until I can use it. But I'm just saying like, I just want you guys to be more mindful and to not to further continue to the overconsumption problem that we are having and that TikTok is promoting. I do think there are a lot of cool products out there, but I just, again, want you to be more mindful and to think about like, is this a need? Is this going to really add value into my life? Those are the kinds of questions that you should be asking yourself. And again, that is one of my new year's resolutions is to not to be so invested with overconsumption and to consume because and to consume and consume and consume because I have been so bad with that and I want to be better about that this year. So I'm curious to know your thoughts. What are some things that you're tired of seeing in the TikTok shop and that you absolutely will not buy? Comment down below and let me know. And if you liked this video, do make sure you give it a thumbs up. And with that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>